Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for this brief overview of how Promax has partnered with Adobe to bring Promax Platform natively into Premiere with Creative Cloud's Adobe Panels. For those of you familiar with the Platform Storage Solution, who know how we mount volumes known as Platform Spaces, Search Files, Manage Assets, Transcode, etc. The architecture of the Platform Server Web UI is versatile. With a few configuration changes, you get all the power of Platform right inside the UI of Premiere Pro. This means simple functions like mounting additional spaces, where you would typically have to leave the app to do so, all handled right inside Premiere Pro. Want to open a space in Windows Explorer? Just double click on the name in the Promax panel and the space opens in the foreground. Having the platform search and asset management capabilities right inside Premiere is pretty amazing. Let's see some real world workflow advantages you get with this new feature. With our project volume mounted, we'll go ahead and launch Premiere. Our client wants to put together an outdoor wilderness sample reel called Wild Shots. They have brought all their red footage on a USB 3 external drive that shows up as yellow in the platform panel. A note platform can share out the content from numerous interfaces like USB 3, Thunderbolt, and eSATA. For editing work, you want to get the media onto the platform native storage to work with it more efficiently. So let's see how this works in Premiere Pro with Adobe Panels. We'll start by doing a search and we'll look for clips starting with A001. This way we can preview log, and tag with metadata for production. From the search result, you can simply double click on the clip and open it in the source viewer. This in itself is a huge time saver, avoiding the process of importing every clip just to view them. From the list of search clips, you can right click and import into the project, or drag the clip directly onto the timeline. Now, let's start the process of getting the clips organized into our project. We'll use the Data Management option to copy to the Wild Shots platform space, and then into the Source Clips directory. By doing this, we have physically copied the file from the USB drive to the platform native storage, all from within Premiere. If we really want to streamline the production process, we can use metadata to create searches and save them and have them ready for the editors. This makes it much easier to identify exactly what you need for your project. Now we'll go ahead and bring in all the other clips. And with this, we have successfully populated our project. The last thing we'll talk about is transcoding. The final render platform space has been set up as a transcoding space. We'll search for the Wild Shots final render, then select Transcode, and after that, select the final render space. Once in here, we have just some of the transcode options available to platform. We'll use H.264 for our client review. This option allows you to export your final projects and leverage the power of the platform server to transcode instead of bogging down your workstation, another huge savings in time and resources. Thank you for joining us for just a few examples of the many new features we get by bringing the power of platform natively into Premiere Pro.